When we're looking at mole to liter conversions or liter to atom, or so moles to atom conversions, we're looking at the same process that we were working on through all of unit two. So what we're gonna be doing is using these conversion factors in order to do our problems. We're gonna set them up the same exact way that we were doing before. So question, this example right here, question one says four liters is equal to how many moles? Well, I'm gonna set it up with my given in the numerator. And just like we did before, liters is up top, so liters comes down to the bottom. And I'm trying to get to moles. So I look at my conversion factor, one mole is equal to 22.4 liters. So one mole is 22.4 liters. Liters cancels. I'm left with my answer in moles. I just multiply and then I divide. Now, same thing holds true. This one we're just going the opposite direction. So if I'm starting with six moles, put my given as the numerator, cross my unit down. So if moles is up top, moles goes on the bottom. And we're trying to get to liters. Now, looking at my conversion factor, same thing. One mole is 22.4 liters. So moles cancels. And I'm left with my answer in liter. So I just do 6 times 22.4 divided by 1. Now, sometimes people get scared when they see the big numbers. When they see that number in scientific notation, it gets scary. So we're going to do a couple, and it's not going to be so scary. So let's look at this. If I have 5 moles and I need to get to atoms, well, once again, we start with our given in the numerator. If moles is up top, moles carries down to the bottom. And we're, in this question, we're trying to get to atoms, so I'm going to put atoms on top. Now I just plug in my conversion factor. So one mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Moles cancel. And I'm left with my answer in atoms. So I'm just simply multiplying across the top. Now this next one, we're going from molecules to moles. So if you look at my conversion factor, we can see that one mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Atoms, particles, molecules, it really can be anything. That's why on the top of your paper it says things, because it can be anything. So when I go to do this problem, sure you can still see my conversion factor, I start with my 4.7 times 10 to the 18 molecules. Molecules is at top. I'm going to put molecules on the bottom. I'm going to put my mole on top because that's where I'm trying to go. And I know that one mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Now, important reminder, you're multiplying and then dividing. This number in scientific notation, you either need to put it in parentheses in your calculator or use that super awesome E, E button that I've been talking about in order to get the correct answer. So once again, we multiply and then we divide. 